Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the unique pass problem using only big O of n space, where n is the number of columns in the matrix. In the last video, uh, the solution was using dynamic programming, time complexity big O of m times n, space complexity was also big O of m times n, where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. But this time, we're going to reduce it down to big O of n for the space complexity. So how can we solve it that way? We're going to use dynamic programming, but this time, instead of using a two-dimensional array, we're going to use a one-dimensional array. And that one-dimensional array will represent the row above the current block. So we don't have to worry about the rows before that. We only have to worry about the row above. So that's why we only have to have a one-dimensional array and um, initialize to 1 for the first row and as we go through the to the array then we modify that and that's going to allow us to save space instead of having big O m times n time com uh, space complexity we're going to have n space complexity so without further ado I'm going to show you how to write the code if m equals equals 0 or n equals equals 0 return 0 no rows or no columns then there's no way to get to the final destination. I'm going to have an array of integer dp gets the value of new array of integer of size n. And as I said, initialize to 1. Arrays that fill dp 1. Then once I have the first row initialized to 1, I iterate through the rest of the matrix and I calculate the total number of ways to each block. Um, using this one dimensional array. For integer i is a value of 1, i is less than the number of rows, plus plus i. For integer j is a value of 1, j is less than the number of columns, plus plus j. Okay, I'm gonna say dp sub j plus equals dp sub j minus 1. And at the end, I return dp sub n minus 1. dp sub n minus 1 is going to be this block or this this position here. Why? Because by the end of the iteration um, this array is going to represent the, the last row. So you return the last the last element of the last row. That's going to be the total number of ways. Run the code Okay, it seems to be working fine. Submit a solution. All right, so this is working perfectly. Uh, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.